In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a table, a HTML table, using a while loop in PHP. So first of all, let's look at the typical type of table that we might have in a HTML page. And I have one here in front of us. So we've just got a table. I've set the border attribute equal to 1. I should probably do that with styles, but just because it's nice and simple with a simple border attribute, just for this example, I'm going to use that attribute instead. And going down through the tables, this is the way that I construct a table. So I've got a number of different rows, and here's a row. And so I've got a start tag at the top and an end tag at the bottom of the row. And then for each of the different cells in the table, I've got a start TD tag and an end TD tag standing for table data. And then I've got a little piece of content in each of them. Now in this table, what the content that I have in each of the different cells is just an incrementing number. And I've got a number of different rows there all the way down. So we can see what that will look like in a browser is like this. Now, I want to go back to my code, and instead of doing that in HTML, I want to do it in PHP. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all of these table rows, and I'm going to remove them, and I'm going to start a PHP code block. And I'll end the code block as well. And straight away here, I'm going to start up an incrementing variable. So i stands for increment, and I'm going to set it equal to 0. And then I'm going to start my while loop. And I'm going to say while i is less than 100, then do the following code. And first of all, I'm going to just focus on doing the TDs, the table data, and uh, we can see how we can handle the rows after that. So as I'm moving in here, I'm just going to put in an echo statement. I'm going to echo out a TD tag. And straight away there, I am going to put in the incrementing variable as the content. So the value of that variable, the value that's in I, in whatever iteration I am in, in that while loop, that is the content that's going to go in there. So that's exactly what we've seen uh, in, in the example that we had with the tables. So I just want numbers in here as content for the moment. And then onto that, I'm going to concatenate on uh, an NTD tag as well. Okay. To make sure that I don't go into an infinite while loop, I need to make sure that I increment uh, the incrementing variable i. So let's see how that works. I'm going to save that and I'm going to move over to my browser. I've still got the same PHP file uh, and now I'm going to refresh and let's see what happens. So I can see here lots of different table data or table cells coming up but not an actual lot of table rows. Let's look at the code source here so I can see what's going on in the back. So on this page I'm going to go control and click uh, to get a view page source or right click on a PC and I can see here yes at the moment I've got lots of table data, lots of cells but no table rows. The other thing that's maybe a little bit awkward here is because all of the different table data are all coming out without any particular line breaks and I'm not talking about the break tag in HTML just in the actual code itself to make it tidier so I can see the source I would like some line breaks in there. So I'm going to just pop back in to my uh, code and every time that I echo out that line, just at the end of it, I'm going to put in uh, the language construct PHP end of line. And you can see there it comes up as a different color in my text editor, but that just puts in a line break. Let's just save that, uh, go back here and refresh the page, and let's look at the code again. So control or right click and view page source. And yes, that's much better. I can see exactly what's happening now. So I've got all my table data. So it's just on every tenth Da uh, table data or table cell, I need to put in a table row. So I have to go back into my while loop and think about how I might be able to do that. Well, this is what the modulus operator is for uh, in PHP. What the modulus operator does is it divides a number uh, by another number and the modulus operator gives you the remainder. So let's think about this. Uh, if inside this while loop, as soon as I come inside the while loop, I'm going to put in an if statement, and I'm going to put in the condition uh, if 
the incrementing variable i modulus the number 10 is equal to 0, then what I want to happen in that instance is I want to put in the beginning of a table row. So echo out uh, tr for table row. And I'm going to stick on a PHP end of line as well there, just so it keeps my, uh, my source nice and tidy. So what will happen in that instance is if I, whatever the number is, whatever increment or whatever loop that we're on in the while loop, if it's divided by 10, if the remainder is equal to 0, that means if I is divisible by 10 evenly, that is every 10th time, every time it's 10 or 20 or 30 or 40, I'm going to get a new table row. I'm also going to get it if I is 0. So the very first time that I come in to this while loop, because this incrementing variable is first of all set up as 0, I'm going to get a table row there as well. Let's save that and let's see how it works. So I'm going to save, go back into my browser and go refresh. And yes, I'm starting to get rows here. It's looking exactly like how I want it, but maybe my HTML uh, source isn't quite tidy enough yet. Yes, I can see here I'm getting a table row on the first time when i is 0. When i is 10, I get another table row tag. When i is 20, I get another table row tag. 30, 40, and so on. Uh, even though this browser is forgiving, my HTML isn't properly uh, closed off here. I need to have end table row tags here as well at the end of every 10 da uh, data table data cells. So I need to go back in here to my code. And after this incrementing operator here, every time i is incremented at the moment at the end of the while loop, I'm going to put in another if statement. I'm going to say if uh, $i, the incrementing variable, uh, modulus 10 is equal to 0, uh, then in that case, if that's true, I want to put in uh, a, an end table row tag. And again, I'm going to put in a PHP end of line here, just to keep my HTML source tidy. And I'm going to save that. So let's just go back and have a look at how that pans out in the code, or in my in my browser. And uh, I'll discuss it then after that. And so I'm going to just go Command and R to refresh. Let's look at that code. Control and click, or right click on a PC and go View Page Source. And I can see, yes, I've got nicely fully formed table row elements here. So that's the first one, uh, that's the second one, and so on. Now, let's go back to the code and explain what I did there. The reason why I put one if statement up here and one if statement down here is the thing I didn't want to put in uh, an end table row tag and a table row tag here straight away uh, because. Uh, on the first instance, when the incrementing variable i was set to 0, I didn't want an end table row tag there. So I have to wait. I don't want it to happen when uh, i is equal to 0. So therefore, I put it after this incrementing operator here, this incrementing statement. And so for the first pass, when it goes into the while loop first, i is equal to 0 here. So it will fulfill this if statement. Uh, it will echo out the first td tag. But when it comes past this statement, i then changes to 1. So on the first pass through the first iteration of that while loop, this if statement won't be executed. But every other time I get to a number that's divisible by 10, then it will be executed. And I get nicely, tidily formed HTML that we saw there in the browser. And remember, that because I've set up my table in such a way using a while loop instead of actually coding it out using HTML it's much more flexible now for instance if I want to say I want to make my table much much larger I only have to change it in one particular place if I go back to my browser I should get a much bigger table so very very flexible very very quick and that's how to do tables using while loops in PHP